Hey guys, do you find it hard to cook meals that everyone will eat and still keep it clean? Or are you on a weight loss journey, but no one in the house wants to eat plain chicken? You're making two meals, one for you and one for them, which sucks, right? There's so many recipes out there on Pinterest and Instagram, but they all look super complicated. You figure it's too much work and what's the point? You're going to be eating solo, right? Well, today on Neri's Kitchen, you'll see meals that everyone in the house wants. Super easy to follow recipes, food that you can enjoy and still keep it clean. Today we're going to make two dishes. Let's get started. All right. Okay, so the first meal that we are going to make is pasta, right? Because who doesn't like pasta? So, I'm just going to grab some meat from my fridge. Oh, just a second here. Oh, you know what I have in my fridge? I always have a cooked chicken. It's never a bad idea to have cooked chicken. So we're going to be making pasta, and I know that, you know, kids don't like to eat their vegetables, right? I know my kids don't like to eat vegetables. However, it's a good way to hide the vegetables in your kids' food. So I have ground chicken here for meat, and then I have my vegetables, and then I'll just be chopping up my celery. Oh, and this part here, don't ever throw this away, because this adds so much flavor, actually. So I always keep the celery tops. Oh. You guys like my new cutting board? This is actually a cutting board that RJ got because he says my cutting boards are terrible. So we bought this yesterday actually. And it kind of matches uh, the kitchen countertop, so I like that. All right, so for you guys on our 21 day challenge, I'd like to hear your wins for the week. Please comment below and let me know. I'll share with you some of my wins. So I've been doing the, the I'm part of the 21 day challenge too. It's been day, what, day six, day seven? seven. Okay, well, a week, right? Yes, and I actually lost five pounds, so I'm pretty happy over that. Can you believe it, five pounds in a wow, week? Wow, that's a lot. Jane Vivica and Mark Who, who says hello? Jane. Oh, hi, Jane. Vivica. Vivica? And Mark Delano. Oh, and Mark, oh, yes. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Jane, you're, you tune in every week, I appreciate it. Vivica, congrats on all of your wins. I've been following your feeds actually, and you've been doing super well too, posting your progress, pictures, your food. I always look forward to your posts, Vivica. So it actually entertains me. So congrats on all of your wins. Okay, so the, this is a salary that I'm chopping. You don't, I don't actually know, I don't have exact mem um, measurements. So not a big deal, as long as you have enough vegetables, onions. Oh. But first, let me get my chicken started. Okay. Let's turn this up here. Turn that on high. Okay, so not gonna lie, I've been eating pretty much the same foods every day. But I like it though, and the kids actually like it, and RJ's been eating it too, so it's been working for us. And I know that sometimes it's it's hard to stick to a plan if you can't follow it, but for me, this is so easy to follow, which is why I've been so successful for the last week and so, because I actually like what I'm eating. Right, RJ? Do you like it too? <laughs> Every day. He's been <laughs> eating it every day. I used to actually get upset with him because he wasn't eating the food I was making, right? And so I would be eating all the leftovers and I'd be eating his food and I would say, you know, RJ, you have to eat your meals because I'm eating his food, but he's actually been eating it. So it's been really good. I'm using ground chicken for my meat sauce, but of course you can use any meat you want. You can use beef or pork or whatever, right? Turkey, turkey works well, but I'm using chicken because I actually like ground chicken. Okay. Hi, Melinda. Thanks for joining. Okay. Okay, my... This is really hot already. It's good to go. Let's put that in. This is two packages of ground chicken. Um, I don't know. What is it? Two pounds total, I guess. Okay. All right, so while that's cooking... Oh, Prepare my vegetables again. Who else is online? Oh, Vivica says, thank you so much. 
Aisa's tuning in. Hi, thanks for tuning in. Marks is looking forward to this. Oh my goodness, Mark, you're the food porn king. I actually look forward to all of your uh, dinners, Mark. So I think last time you had, what was it? He's been eating good. Have you seen his post, um, Gerald? Yes. He's been eating like uh, yeah. these salads, and yeah. I think I saw a fish and steaks. steaks. That, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Always has good wine, too. Yeah, Mark's food always looks so yummy. And it looks elegant. It actually does. Okay, so I'm chopping my vegetables. Of course, you can use any vegetables you want for your meat sauce. I'm using what I have in the fridge, onion, celery, of course. And plus, if my kids know that I'm putting vegetables in this, they wouldn't be eating it. But I chop it so small that they can't see it. And then mushrooms. Did you actually know that mushrooms are high in protein? Did you know that? No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. If you look it up on MyFitnessPal, mm -hmm. it's actually really high. So I've been incorporating more mushroom into my diet. Okay. So I'd like to know what your wins are for the week. I already shared mine. I lost five pounds. You know, I didn't take any photos because I just, I just never did. But because my numbers were so great, I think I might take more photos. And Jerome, are you part of this challenge too? Yes, I am. Part and what are your wins? My wins is uh, me working out for more than uh, three weeks now. Yes. So my third week. And, uh, and I'm liking it. So. Good. You are liking it, actually, yeah. because I, I see you and you're just so energized all the time. You're getting and stronger. You're getting right? stronger. Yeah, there you go. I'm getting consistent on... On the workouts? Yes, you are. Well, I, you know what? You're in really good shape. For someone who hasn't really worked out before, you're mm -hmm. in really good shape and you're jumping lots and you're like you're keeping up, which is fantastic, right? Yes. Well, again, it's your, you're in front of the camera. You got to do what you have to do, right? But you know what? You're always the one who is behind <laughs> the camera, right? And you didn't really show an interest in it before, but now you actually look forward to it. I know you do. Yeah, I do. It's addicting, guys. It is addicting. Okay, I'm gonna check on my chicken. Mm. Maybe I should reduce this. So like I said, you can use any meat you want. I'm gonna season this right now. Let's use, I always use this uh, sea salt because I like it. Season it nicely. And I like ground chicken because there's actually not a lot of fat, surprisingly. Okay, let's keep that cooking still. And then, oh, I gotta get my garlic ready too. Can't forget the garlic. Who else is online? Oh, Terry's watching. Hi, Terry. Oh, Melinda's down four pounds. Good wow. job, Melinda. That's awesome. Melinda, what have you been doing differently? Let me know. So for me, what I've been doing differently is the meal prepping. I've been eating the same foods, but um, what else have I been doing? Less snacking. I've been doing less snacking. And what else have I been doing? Oh, water. Oh my goodness. Water is such a huge difference. So I keep my jug around me. Actually, this is what I, I have been using. My jug, it's 2.2 liters. I got it from Gorilla Jack, so I've been making sure that this is full, and I don't refill until I've actually finished the whole thing. So this is how I've been keeping myself track. And if you guys don't have a big bottle, I highly recommend getting a big bottle. It's such a difference maker. Do you have a bottle, Jerome? Yes, I do. I do. You do? Yeah, I have some I work there. The bottles have the time. Well, I don't think I've yeah. ever seen you drink water. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't think I have. Yeah. Well. well you don't see me because you're not there all the time, but I do drink a lot. It's of true. Water. I'm not there all the time. I'm only there once a day, 30 minutes. But I've actually been really enjoying the virtuals too. Yeah. And oh my gosh, last week I was so sore. Were you sore too? Yes, I was a little bit sore, yeah. Yeah. My legs, pretty much. On Friday, you know, Friday, I was just really burnt out. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I was just like, I'm sore, I'm tired. But you know what, I, I didn't let that stop me and I still kept doing what I was supposed to be doing. So that was a win, pushing through it. But I had the weekend off, had my cheat meal, 
which wasn't really a cheat meal. It was a cheat, but you know, I don't want to share it with you right now because that'll be my second meal, my meal number two that I'll be making. Okay, so I'm using red peppers here. And you know, I, like I said, I don't have exact uh, measurements, just use what you have in the fridge. I like to keep my food colorful. Who else is online? Oh, Cho Savi! Oh, hi, Cho! Thanks for watching. You know what? So it's funny when we did the last uh, sushi episode with Cho at uh, Cho Savi, it was so good. RJ and I were saying we need to go and get another burrito. It was that good. And we even ate it the next day. And that bowl that we had was just fantastic. Okay, let's check on the meat, see how that's going. You want it to be fully cooked, right? Because it is chicken. Just gonna get higher. Okay. Oh my gosh. This, can you smell this already? Mm. It smells really good. I'm going to add some garlic in there right now. Just because I like garlic. And you know, I chopped it up really big because I um, just didn't feel like chopping it finely. Mm -hmm. I think that was about three cloves or so. And this, I would say it feeds about, I don't know, maybe about five or six portions. Because me and this would last me and RJ about three, yeah, three meal, three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So this is about six portions, I think. Yeah. Okay, so what other ingredients you're going to need for this meat sauce, obviously, is the meat, the veggies, and then you need your pasta sauce. Which I have already here. We have Zenaida or Zena watching. I love my food colorful as well. You know what, when you have colorful food, it just makes you happier. Mm -hmm. Because then it looks fresh, right? It does. Okay. So, okay, my meal number two, guess what it is? I don't know. Burgers. Burgers. Can you believe it? Burgers. Okay, so it's funny, I've been eating burgers for the last I'm going to say three weeks, I'm not going to mm -hmm. lie. But it's working for me. It's working for me and RJ, and we've been eating it. Okay. Just break that up. Okay, you see how there's all this liquid here? I don't like liquid in my food, so I'm actually going to strain that after. I know it sounds silly, but I just don't like wet food. I just feel like it makes it too liquidy for me and RJ. So let's cook that a little bit. Okay, so my second meal, like I said, I've been eating burgers. So I have my meat here. And I'm using lean ground beef. But of course you could use, you know, extra lean if you want. If you want to use regular, go for it, as long as it works for you. But I like lean. Oh, I think this is almost done here. So like I said, there's lots of liquid here, and I don't like that, right? So we're gonna strain that. Let's do that right now. Excuse me, Durham. Where's my strainer? Here we go. Okay. I know this is not good to do it in the sink, but that's okay. There. Okay, yeah, so I strain my food, put it back on the stove, and then, oh, thank you, Jerome. You want to put your vegetables inside too. And let that cook for a little bit, like a, like a couple minutes till it's soft, right? But if you're looking for ways to add more protein into your diet, mushrooms, I'm telling you. Lots and lots of mushrooms. Okay, so let's cook that for a little bit. 
Okay, so meal number two. What your family will enjoy? Burgers. So I'm gonna get it started here. Okay, let me just dry this. And you know, it's actually pretty satisfying. What's that? Oh. <laughs> okay, so you wanna grease your pan. I mean, okay, so there's different ways on how to make burgers. You could always, you know, season your food, salt, pepper, garlic, I don't know, however you make burgers. I actually just add salt. I don't do anything fancy to it because I don't have time to mix. But I, I always use the special sauce on my burgers and that I feel like I don't need any seasoning. So you can always season your beef however you want. I'm not going to. I'm just going to use my special seasoning sauce or salt. Wait for that. And then I swear the kids will eat this. My kids have been eating this and my kids are super picky eaters, but they've been really enjoying it. And plus, you know, it really satisfies me and it keeps me full. For breakfast, if you guys want to know what I eat, it's so simple. It's just boiled eggs. I always have avocados on hand. So this is a, a large avocado. I'm not going to eat the whole thing. That's too much. I actually slice it in half and I eat that two eggs and coffee with cream, non-negotiable. I always need cream in my coffee, tomatoes. And I've been doing that for about three weeks too. And it's really been helping me as well. Okay. So burgers are pan is hot already. And you know what? I'm not, I don't measure my meat. If you really want to know how much it is, you can always measure it yourself, but I'm not, I'm not going to measure my food. I always measure, if I wanted to see what the macros are, I would measure the, measure the cooked weight. And then I would go into my fitness pal and then I would search for what it is. But I would say this is about half a cup if you wanted to know. And then, so when you make your patties, make sure that the middle is actually quite flat because then your meat will puff up and you don't want it to be like a like a big ball so just make sure that the middle is there's a dent inside and of course you know you can always use the grill for your burgers you could put it in the oven if you want there's all these fancy gadgets there's a George Foreman grill what else is there there's like the air fryer and everything you can do that but you know i don't have time for that i'm just gonna put it over the pan the easiest for me like i said make a dent let's make one more patty normally i have two pans going on at the same time but we'll just do one pan for right now okay there we go make a dent wash my hands Hi, Lily. Thanks for watching. Hi, Sonia. Maria's online too. Hi, Maria. So this is when I season my food. I just use, put my salt like this. There we go. Okay, so back to my sauce here. That looks good already. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jerome, hang on. <laughs> Let me see my muscles. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got it. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, hang on. Little trouble there. Okay, so you put your sauce inside. And then what I like to do is just add a little bit of water in here. Shake it up. Put it back in. Of course, you can use any tomato sauce you want. I'm using this Italian sausage one because I like the flavor, but you could use like tomato basil or just tomato sauce, whatever you have on hand. And then we're going to let this cook for a little bit. And I always like to season my food after because I've already added salt to it. And then your pasta sauce already has flavor as well. Okay, so let that cook. Turn it down a little bit. Oh. 
Okay, so for the burgers, um, you can eat this with a bun if you'd like, but for me, I've actually been eating this with a lettuce wrap, and it's actually really tasty. So I'll show you what I do. So I always have lettuce on hand, and then, oh, if you need your cheese, if you want cheese, and then tomato, and then your sauce, and then an onion. Oh. Okay, so we'll prep our veggies. Oh, I have an onion here. So, so staying at Bar Barb today, and that's doing her meal prep and watching you at the same time. Oh, good. Hi, Barb. It's so good to hear you from you. Hope you're doing well, Barb. You're doing your meal prep. Okay, so let's get our lettuce ready. There we go. And then my onion. Oh, my cheese. Okay. I think the burger is almost ready. And this doesn't take a long time at all. What's that? We're still good? Okay. I think all of this should take about 30 minutes or so. Let's, let's actually time ourselves how long this takes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to taste my sauce. Oh, it's tasty. I didn't even add anything, but you don't have a secret ingredient. If you want your meat sauce to be even that, to be 1% healthier, I actually add nutritional yeast. It has a nice nutty, cheesy, salty flavor. And I think it adds B12. I'm not really too sure, but it's actually really good for you. So I just add a handful of that. It gives it a nice cheesy flavor. And I purchased this from Canadian Nutrition at McIver for about, oh, $9.99. And it's lasted me, I would say six months now. It's been a long time. Okay, so we'll let this cook for another few minutes. How I serve this is with my spaghetti squash, which I have over here. So while that's cooking, you can always cut your spaghetti squash, bake it into the oven. I did that beforehand just because it takes too long. So this is done now. And then let's plate it. Let's see, there we go. Okay. So we're gonna plate it. So you just take your spaghetti squash and then you just fork it like that. And it's actually pretty filling. So I do this, just scrape the sides off. And this will make about, like I said, six meals or so. And if you really want to know what um, the macros are, you could always weigh it with a scale or you could measure it like what I'm doing. So I'm going to put a cup's worth like that put on a plate and there you go that looks pretty good and then our meat sauce will be done in about a minute and like I said if your kids aren't a fan of the spaghetti squash it takes what eight minutes to boil pasta not a big deal You're, you can always do that at the same time do your kids like pasta yes yeah do they like spaghetti squash yeah they do the girls love spaghetti oh good Okay, I think this is almost done. Let's check on our burgers. Mm, maybe another minute, a bit higher. And you know, another tip is always have the same containers. It makes such a big difference mm -hmm. when you have the same containers. So I actually bought these containers, all of these from, um, 
from Costco. And it, what was it? It's a package of, oh, 50 items. So 25 containers for, I think, $10. That's pretty good, but they're all the same, right? It's all the same size, and that way it's enough for you to do your meal prep. So I think this is done now, and I tasted it already. I didn't add any pepper because my kids don't like pepper. We can always add pepper at the end. So let's, um, oh gosh, so heavy. <laughs> let's come back here, let's come back here. <laughs> so then I always measure my food again. I use about a cup's worth, right? Mm -hmm. So I put a cup's worth, and then I actually add it to the side here. And then for men, if you need more food, you can always add a cup and a half or two cups. But for me, I, I'm good with one cup. So this is one meal as it is. And that's pretty heavy already. And if you want to add extras, you can add extras like green onions. If you want to add cheese, add cheese. If you want to make it more fancy, add some more nutritional yeast like that. And then, our burgers, let's check. Oh, I actually don't know if it's cooked, let me see. Oh, it's cooked inside, okay. Let's plate this one now. So this is what I would do. Okay, so what RJ and I have been doing is we've been using iceberg lettuce as our wrap, right? And um, if you want to use a bun, use a bun, whatever. Just make sure you track it on your MyFitnessPal. And then we start putting it together. So what's the order? I don't actually know how you're supposed to build one. But I like to do, let's see. I like to put the lettuce there. Then you put your burger there. And then you put, um, oh, your tomato here. Okay. Then you add your onions. You want to add onions? You can add cheese if you want. Uh, I'll add cheese. Why not? I lost five pounds and it's been working, so why not, right? If you want, if you're craving something, you know, just have it. Just don't have too much. And make sure you track it. This one is what? One slice is 80 calories. So I'll just use half. It's a small burger. Do that. Oh, okay, so this is actually my secret sauce. So I've been using this and I've already finished one jar and I'm so addicted to it, it's so good. This is sweet and spicy that we got from Gorilla Jack, but it's so good and it's sugar free and it's been helping me so much. I recommend you guys get this. So I just add a little bit like that. There you go and then you can wrap it and there's your burger and you can have this with a side salad if you want. RJ eats his with kale salad. I actually eat I don't actually have salad with this. I just eat the burger as it is. But it's pretty low in calories, to be honest. I actually have two of these in a sitting. Mm. So there you have it, you guys. I've made two meals. This would be my lunch because it's easier to eat. I actually sit at a desk. There is my desk over there. Mm. I work from home, so I need to be able to eat and work at the same time. So this is lunch, and then this is dinner because it is handheld, right? Mm. So how long did that all take? 30 minutes or so? Yeah. Okay, there you have it. It took me 30 minutes to prepare two meals. All right, guys, I hope you guys learned so I hope I hope you guys had some takeaways and let me know how your meal prep is going. For me, it's been really good so far and Jerome has had some great successes too. Yeah. Please let me know what your successes, what your wins are, and let me know how the next two weeks are going and make sure you comment below and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys. Are you hungry? Ready box. Oh, three. Eat it right now? Yeah.